The Leres River in Pontevedra is where the 2023 World Triathlon Championship Finals for the under-23 men would begin on the 1,500 metre swim in the beautiful serene water. The water though would quickly become a choppy mess as the athletes battled for position on the 1500 meter swim. Alessio Crociani, one of those that found a little bit of breathing room up at the front. He was first out onto the pontoon and leading the pack into transition. But there was a cluster of bodies following him, around 15 or so, all getting out on the bike at once. The bike course itself was a 40 kilometer stretch with very few technical areas, just one long uphill to a dead turn leading back down the hill to the waterfront. But it would give plenty the opportunity to catch up with the main group. The 17 or so at the front quickly becoming around about 25 as they came to the end of the eight laps. And the end of each lap was perhaps the most treacherous and technical part. With very little space for the athletes coming into transition, it would be all about who could be fastest out on the run, with the gold medal up for grabs for plenty of the athletes. One man would lead from the front, though, on the run. An impressive performance from Simon Henselite as he started to drop plenty of the others in his wake and open up an advantage over the rest of the field. And it would be Henselite that would take the blue tape and the gold medal for the under-23 World Triathlon Championship Finals. In hot pursuit was the Frenchman Baptiste Pessimard, just 15 seconds or so behind the leading German, but never really in contact or with a chance of taking the gold medal. And following behind him, an emotional Mitch Kolkman, the Dutch athlete taking it all in as he crossed the line for bronze. So this is how it finished. Simon Henselite finishing first, Baptiste Pessimard second, and Mitch Kolkman making up the top three. Yeah, uh, I had my chance in Paris at the test event and got absolutely smashed in the swim. So this was like my main prioritize uh, to be in the first pack and yeah it worked out perfectly um, I think I was out of seventh or eighth so perfect with contact uh, to the leaders and unfortunately on the bike uh, there were just Henry Graf and me uh, who were pushing the pace and so the first chase pack caught up and then yeah as I said it was a run race and I was the strongest today. An impressive finish from the German then if you can keep up this level of performance, there should be plenty more podiums to come in his near future.